Assalamualaikum, uh, dear audience and dear viewers. Today, once again, I am uh, interacting with you guys on this digital platform, and uh, I, you know, quite often try my level best to uh, to to share things with you guys that could be quite instrumental to you, uh, you know related to English language, different aspects of English language. Uh, earlier we talked about paragraph writing, then we had another clip, another live session, and you know, in that live session I shined light on uh, how to use vocabulary in context. And then, you know, uh, I had one more live session in which I, you know, uh, deliberated on, you know, how to uh, w what are the types of sentences and uh, you know uh, why are they important how should we you know uh, differentiate between phrases clauses and all that today is the topic that is uh, you know uh, very important I mean it's uh, a bedrock of competitive exam uh, all competitive exams and the topic is pressy writing this is very much important it is indispensable skill when it comes to academic writing because if you are not good at pressy write uh, pressy writing you'll not be able to do well uh, you know in competitive exams specifically uh, you know if you talk from css and pms point of view so this is a skill that is very much needed that is very much you know uh, required and it is a main prerequisite which will definitely uh, you know uh, prove in, in instrumental in making you become a you know a css officer or you know a bureaucrat so this is really important press your writing it is one of uh, you know uh, the most essential academic skills that we need to, you know, uh, acclimatize with or familiarize ourselves with. So now, without any more, uh, you know, waffling or oscillating and vacillating, I think we should move to the topic and and see what pressy writing is. Um, so, as I've mentioned here, pressy writing. Now, what is pressy writing? Pressy basically means to cut short. Uh, it has come from Latin language into French and from there into English. So uh, it means that you need to have a gist or a crux of the given passage. You just give the central theme of a given passage in as much minimum words as possible. That is referred to as pressy writing. Pressy writing kya hai? Ye Latin se French mein aaya hai, wahan se English mein aaya hai. Iska buniyadi matlab hota hai, Urdu mein jise kehte hai markaz-e khiyal. Yani, aap ne a given passage ko intihai kam words mein briefly aap ne usko explain karna hota hai. Ke aap ke paas ek matlab koi 500 ka ek wo aagiya hai, passage aagiya hai. Ab us 500 ke passage ko aap, agar aap se kaha jata hai ke make a pressy of it, you are supposed to make a pressy of that very, uh, you know, uh, passage in one one third. In a, you'll have a pressy of that in one third of a paragraph. One third, aap karke uski aap pressy banayenge. Yani aap usko divide kare kitne words bante hai. Like 300 words hai, to uska aap 100 mein pressy banayenge. Aur wo sirf is tarah nahi hoga kya, matlab usko aapne chronological order mein, sequence, ek, ek proper sequence mein, आपने ये भी इंश्योर कराना होता है कि जो एसेंस है ओरिजिनल पैसेज का वो भी उसमें रिफ्लेक्ट करे यानी इट हैज टू बी अ फेथफुल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ द ओरिजिनल पैसेज यू कैन नॉट कॉम्प्रोमाइज ऑन दैट यू कैन नॉट डिवोर्स योर प्रेसी फ्रॉम यू नो द ओरिजिनलिटी व्हिच इज फाउंड इन इन द ओरिजिनल पैसेज यू नीड टू मेक श्योर दैट इट इज देयर यू मेंटेन इट 
अच्छा तो इसका मेन पर्पस क्या है द मेन पर्पस ऑफ प्रेस राइटिंग इज टू गिव द एग्जैक्ट आइडिया ऑफ अ गिवन पैसेज एक पैसेज आपको मिला है बहुत सारे लोगों के पास इतना टाइम नहीं होता कि वो पूरे इतने बड़े बड़े मतलब फाइल्स को पढ़े या जो लंबे पैसेजेस हैं उनको पढ़े वो चाहते हैं कि उस पैसेज का क्रक्स क्या है उनका जिस्ट क्या है उनमें बेसिक थीम क्या है उस थीम को आपने प्रेसी में बताना होता है एक प्रॉपर सिक्वेंस में राइट दैट्स वर्ड प्रेसी राइटिंग इट इट इज अ कंसाइज एंड ल्यूसिड समरी कंसाइज एंड ल्यूसिड समरी दैट फॉर सेक्स आल अन नेसेसरी डिटेल्स वो तमाम अननेसेसरी डिटेल्स जो रिक्वायर्ड नहीं है उसको आपने क्या करना होता है यू हैव टू डिस्कार्ड देम यू हैव टू फोरसेक देम दैट इज वट प्रेस राइटिंग इज ना वट आर दोज अननेसेसरी डिटेल्स दे इंक्लूड इलिस्ट्रेशन एग्जाम्पल्स कोटेशंस सिमिलीज मेटाफर्स एब्रेविएशंस एंड इम्बेलिशमेंट्स like you know uh, ornamental kind of language a very uh, figurative kind of language literary language you can't afford that in press writing you have to maintain quite plain language quite simple language that even a layman can understand it a layman can comprehend it you don't have to make it very much flowery and very much verbose because then uh, people will not be able to get their he- head around it it will become you know just uh, uh, quite uh, uh, difficult for them to decipher or to comprehend so you need to make sure that your pressy is in plain language it is in simple language and uh, that, that everybody can understand it everybody can comprehend it now we come to the next stage which is what is a good pressy it needs uh, you know concentrated thoughts when it comes to you know making a good pressy you need to be very much focused you cannot uh, afford uh, you know to to waver your attention or to become absent minded or scatter brand you need to make sure that very much present minded and very much concentrated um and you need to have close attention on the on the passage to 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 go through it to read it and to co- comprehend it and to find the 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 you know the essence of the passage the theme of the passage that's very essential uh it you know uh, it teaches us how to grasp the main idea press writing teaches us how to you know grasp or how to uh, locate or find the main idea of a given passage a good pressy is not a jumbling of sentences you, you you just don't have to jumble up sentences you don't have to have you know uh, a combination of jumbled up sentences no there has to be a proper chronological order so that uh, you know uh, your pressy is uh, well knit it is coherent it is well connected there is unity in it everything has to be followed religiously i mean strictly you cannot compromise on that right it is not mere paraphrase or paraphrasing it's not just paraphrasing a good pressy is neither a mixture of summary and phrases nor it is an adaptation of the original you need to make sure that uh, you you do not borrow anything from the original that's like a forbidden fruit you have to strictly avoid it you know then it becomes uh, for for people who are not acquainted with it or familiar with it a herculean task it becomes a sisyphian task a taunting task but that's what you need to you know overcome to aapne pressing banate waqt original passage se kuch nahi uthana wo aapke liye ek forbidden fruit hai usko aapne touch nahi karna आपने पूरी कोशिश करनी है कि जो बातें वही करनी है जो ओरिजिनल पैसेज में कही गई है जो ऑथर ने जो कुछ कहा है ऑथर की बातें आपने अपने वर्ड्स में कहनी है लेकिन ऑथर के वर्ड्स को आपने बारो नहीं करना दैट इज समथिंग स्ट्रिक्टली यू नो दैट इज something which has to be avoided that is not allowed that is forbidden right um, a good pressy is not a string of quotations from the original quotation वगैरह इन सारी चीजों को आपने discard कर देना है इनको avoid कर देना है a good pressy is not based on writers own comments criticism opinions or waves you don't have to become you know a uh, subjective you have to kill your subjectivity when it comes to press writing jo press writing ki baat aati hai to aapne apni subjectivity ko khatam kar dena hai you have to become objective you have to you know you have to interpret uh, you know uh, the message of the author in your own words as it is as it is given in the original passage you don't have to add anything from your own no addition that's going to be a crime not just a crime that will lead to a disaster it's like a heinous crime and you'll not be forgiven for that you'll be penalized so you need to make sure that you don't do 
you know, uh, any addition from your side. You, you don't make any commentary on what the author is saying. Whether the author is saying something right or that is contrary to, to, to what your values are or to what your understanding is or to what your, you know, beliefs are. You just have to, you know, uh, uh, abide by the words of the author in, 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 you know, um, in a factful manner. You cannot afford to add anything from your side. That's strictly forbidden. Whatever the author has said, interpret that, uh, you know, uh, in your own words. Make a pressy of that in your own words, in, in a concise manner, in a minimum manner, in a lucid manner, in a coherent manner. That's what you have to do. Now, qualities of a good pressy. What are the essential qualities of a good pressy? What makes a pressy a good pressy? That's something we need to, you know, focus on. So it should be definite. The pressy should be definite. I mean, it should be, you know, relevant, very much uh, connected to the original message. The message should not um, be irrelevant. Whatever uh, theme is given in the original passage, you should maintain that. You, you, your pressy should be a factful representation of the original passage. That's something you need to focus on a lot, right? It should be exact and just of the right amount. The amount should be like, uh, you know, uh, you need to be careful that uh, one third, I mean, you have to make it one third of the original passage. You need to do the word counting. Whatever the number of the word is, you'll have to do that counting as well. It must give all the salient points of the original passage. You need to uh, maintain the, those salient points of the original passage. That's very important. Whatever the, you know, the salient features are, you'll have to maintain that. That's of, you know, a paramount importance. You can't afford to, you know, um, discard anything that is essential to the essence and meaning of the uh, of, of of your pressy. If you uh, do that, so it will not give a good impression. I mean, it will not be um, a sound pressy. You'll have to include all those points that are essential to the essence of your pressy. Other than that, it must be knit closely, clearly and concisely. Like, you know, there is one thing that uh, when it comes to pressy writing, so we talk about brevity. Yes, brevity means you need to be brief, you need to be concise, right? You need to be precise, precession and, you know, and, and, and that conciseness, which is very much important when it comes to pressy writing. But brevity should not be incorporated at the cost of clarity. You need to maintain clarity. राइट right? आपने क्लियर होना है ब्रीफ तो आप हैं ही जब आप प्रेसी राइटिंग की बात करते हैं तो आप मिनिमम वर्ड में प्रेसी को बनाते हैं सही है जिस तरह मैंने कहा कि अगर 300 वर्ड्स है तो वन थर्ड उसका क्या होगा प्रेसी होगा यानी 100 वर्ड में आपने वो बात करनी है लेकिन सिर्फ ये नहीं कि आपने 100 वर्ड ही लिखने हैं आपने बिल्कुल क्लैरिटी के साथ उस मैसेज को वन वर्ड में कन्वे करना है राइट दैट्स वट यू हैव टू डू इट मस्ट बी कोहेरेंट अब कोहेरेंट का मतलब क्या है कि जो आपके सेंटेंसेज है वो एक सेंटेंस दूसरे के अंदर फ्लो इन करे यानी वो उससे कनेक्टेड होना चाहिए वो डिसजॉइंटेड नहीं होना चाहिए आप एक सेंटेंस में एक बात कर रहे दूसरे में कोई और बात हो रही है सो दैट क्रिएट्स एम्बिग्विटी एंड यू कैन नॉट कॉल इट अ गुड प्रेसिंग राइट ए वाइड लेंथी टाइटल अब जब टाइटल की बात आती है आपकी जो टाइटल है ना टाइटल इज द प्रेसी ऑफ प्रेसी आप जो प्रेस बनाते हो आपका जो टाइटल होता है वो उसी का प्रेसी होती है टाइटल अब टाइटल आप किस तरह देंगे टाइटल आपने जो प्रेसी आपने बनाई है ना आपने उसको टाइटल देनी है अब टाइटल इस तरह देंगे कि फ्रेस की शक्ल में हो या यानी ज्यादा से ज्यादा आठ वर्ड्स हो या एक छोटा सा खूबसूरत सेंटेंस लिख दे सही उससे ज्यादा आपने लेंथी उसको नहीं करना सो दैट विल बी अ गुड यू नो टाइटल विच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट और राइट अब उसके बाद क्या है कि कुछ और रूल्स वगैरह है कि अंडरस्टैंड दी एसेंशियल फैक्ट्स यानी आपने जो इसेंशियल फैक्ट्स है ना जब आप रीडिंग करें उसको उसको आपने अंडरस्टैंड करना है और उस पैसेज में डोमिनेटिंग थीम क्या है डोमिनेटिंग आइडिया क्या है वही डोमिनेटिंग आइडिया आपका उसी से आप प्रेसी बनाते हैं वही आपका एग्जिस्ट होता है वही आपका क्रक्स होता है तो उसको आपने लोकेट करने की कोशिश करनी है बट रिमेंबर दैट इट नीड्स कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड रीडिंग फोकस्ड रीडिंग एंड रिग्रेस रीडिंग आई मीन यू हैव टू गिव इट यू नो मल्टीपल रीडिंग फॉर इंस्टेंस देर आर सिम पीपल they are you know voracious reader and their reading uh, power is very good their reading prowess is 
just phenomenal when they when they just um, um, have a glance at anything they they, they 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 get the theme of that but there are other you know who need multiple readings in order to understand the essence or the gist or the crux of a particular passage or a particular text so it varies from reader to reader you know five fingers are not not equal we all are different right summarize only what the author says do not add anything from yourself we have already discussed that the pressy should be in third person pressy ko apne third person mein likhna hai jis jis tarah hum reported speech wagaira banate hain narration karte hain to direct indirect mein na to ye indirect speech mein honge theek hai uske baad kya hai ki isko past tense mein likha jata hai you have to ensure that you write it in past tense other than that अच्छा इसके लिए एक अच्छा रूल मैं स्टूडेंट्स को ये सजेस्ट कर सकता हूं कि प्रेसी राइटिंग के लिए जो एक बेहतरीन रूल है एक बेहतरीन जो वो है टिप है वो ये है कि जो वन वर्ड सब्सटीट्यूशन है उनको आप लोग याद करें उनको मेमोराइज करें बिकॉज दे आर वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट इफ इफ यू हैव गुड कमांड ओवर वन वर्ड सब्सटीट्यूशन देल हेल्प यू इन मेकिंग यू नो प्रेसिस uh in in calculated manner so uh i strongly urge you guys to get you know uh, your hands on one word substitutions and to learn them by heart to memorize them by heart because they'll be very much crucial when it comes to press writing all right to length to maine bata diya hai ki one third of the original hota hai uske baad kya hai one word substitution ka bhi ho gaya as far as possible use your own words and borrow nothing from you know uh, the original uh, passage अब यहाँ पे एक एग्जाम्पल है ये मैंने एक सेंटेंस की प्रेसी बनाने की कोशिश की है ठीक है तो यहां से आपको आइडिया होगा इट वॉज सो डार्क दैट नथिंग कुड बी सीन इतना ज्यादा अंधेरा था कि कोई चीज दिखाई नहीं दे रहा था अब ये एक सेंटेंस है अब इसके अगर मैं प्रेसी बनाऊ तो कैसे होगा नथिंग वॉज विजिबल बात तो यही हो रही है ना अब यहाँ पे देखिए कितने सारे वर्ड्स है और इन पूरे पूरी बात को मैंने तीन वर्ड में कर दी है सेंटेंस मेरा बहुत लेंथी है ना उसमें तकरीबन क्या है एक दो तीन चार पांच छह सात आठ टोटल नो दस वर्ड्स है तो नो दस वर्ड्स में जो बात हो रही थी उसको मैंने तीन वर्ड्स में कर दिए एक सेंटेंस से मैंने आपको मिसाल दी है प्रेसी में आपने यही करना होता है उसके बाद क्या है कि ही वॉज चार्ज ये अनदर एक सेंटेंस है जिसकी मैंने प्रेसी बनाई है ही वॉज चार्ज विद हैविंग कैरिड ऑन अ ट्रेड इन कॉन्ट्रा बैंड गुड्स अब उस पर चार्ज इल्जाम लगा था कि वो जो गैर ममनुआ अशिया है या जो गैर कानूनी अशिया है उस उसमें उसका कारोबार करता था तो इसकी प्रेसी क्या है कि ही वॉज चार्ज विद स्मगलिंग ही वॉज चार्ज विद स्मगलिंग अब यहां पे आप देखें तो ये टोटल कोई पांच वर्ड्स हैं जो ये सारा इस पूरे सेंटेंस की जो प्रेसी मैंने बनाई है दैट इज इन फाइव वर्ड्स सो दिस इज कॉल्ड प्रेसी राइटिंग आई होप यू गाइस विल हैव एंजॉयड दिस वेरी सेशन एंड आई इनकरेज यू ऑल टू यू नो शेयर इट विद योर फ्रेंड्स विद योर रेलेटिव बिकॉज शेयरिंग इज द एसेंस ऑफ द एग्जिस्टेंस ऑफ होमोसेपियंस so i strongly urge you to share it with your nears and dears because they might be willing to um, get benefited from this uh, wonderful uh, informative sessions and lectures and inshallah i'll be coming you know on cotodian basis on regular basis i'll be trying to uh, you know enlighten you guys with different and multifarious aspects of the english language uh, and if you guys are willing to uh, take classes from me you know both on campus and online uh, you know uh, related to uh, english writing like uh, paragraph writing essay writing composition press writing grammar advanced grammar spoken classes uh, like uh, pronunciation and everything i also offer that you can contact me and i'll be mentioning my uh, contact detail uh, along with this particular uh, you know session so thank you very much stay blessed